And, and to this day, correct me if I'm wrong, Jamas, but I watch Salt Mine League a lot. I've not seen Ryan go for the mirror against uh, against uh, no, Fassa ever. Probably in the like, early ever. stages, and okay. then after a while, it's like, you know what, this ain't working out. I don't feel too comfortable in this, so I'll just go ahead and rock this a gap through and through. It's probably what we are going to see here. But Fassa, I again, he's actually qualified for the Intel World Open uh, close qualifiers. I think he made it the second time, beating Vega Patch in the winners' final. So again, he's an accomplished player in the European region. But again, this is a different kettle of fish. And uh, I don't, I'm not going to knock it. I actually think he does have a chance of uh, going all the way here, uh, especially if he can just get into that top eight. He'll get the first hurdle. He's got to be a very worthy adversary in Ryan Hart. But then even then, whoever loses, they've still uh, got a chance to make it to the loser's side top eight. So let me see the characters and the V system layout. V skill gap. two. Okay. okay skill two. Makes sense. I don't normally see Fassa. When I see Fassa play in Europe, he doesn't pick V Skill 2. But then obviously, this is Sagat. He's played Ryan numerous amounts of times. He loves that double armor with V Skill 1, but this is a projectile heavy matchup, so. Yeah, for sure. I think from that range, oh, nice punish. You always go for the slow fireball there just to get that walk up pressure on Sagat. And that's another thing Ryan's very good at in the matchup. You forget that he has to jump too, you know? You're looking at Fassa thinking, when's he going to jump in to try and close down these fireballs? But actually, Ryan will catch those freaking fireballs the last bit when you least expect him. Yeah, for oh, sure. Choice. And he gets the punish on that heavy chariot tackle there as well. No good trigger. Nice head right here. The break. Oh, the range on that roundhouse. Nice. There he comes with that VT too. It's the hit. He might be dead. Yeah, oh, that's exactly what. <laughs> yeah, right. Anticipated that. Back it up. Whoa, oh, that converted. Oh my. <laughs> and he gets the throw as well. What a choice, man. Yeah. I mean, clearly it wasn't reaction, but it just happened to work out. Fast to take the first round there. I have never seen that conversion before. Kind of me impressed. Obviously, if he could get a forward punch after, I'd probably be pretty upset. <laughs> In that neutral there. So now they kick buttons. Oh, interesting. Nice punish again. Well, hard to make that safe against the gap. It's minus four. I know one of his buttons. I think no, I think Stan like it. That's uh, five frames, not his Stan like punch. I think that was a guaranteed punch. Yeah, Stan like punch is, is, is four frames. Okay. There yeah, it he's is. He's got good range on the upper. Upper end. Nice use of the fireballs here from Fassa. But he's at a life deficit at the moment, Femi. And he hasn't even got Indignant Thunder charged up, so he's going to have to rely on Tyrant pressure. Look how quickly he got that V trigger up there. Those fireballs, and of course, second damage. Nice confirm. Great range on that roundhouse. Oh, the option select counter hit. This is big for Fassa. Gets a grab. One more for the stun. And there, the it does it. there you go. Fassa, after a very uphill first round, managed to clutch that round out. Got some fortunate scenarios there with a knee drop linking into the fireball, which was quite a cool moment. And then closed out the next round convincingly. And Ryan Hart. Down one here has a decision to make. I think he'll probably go to get again, but will he take his time to think this through? Will he switch something up as well? It's interesting because Ryan actually had a fantastic start. Great start. Threw a couple of fireballs, got the hard read of the jump. And uh, one thing I don't hear people talk about these days enough is uh, Ryan's understanding of fireball patterns. It's like you think you That's can why throw it was one a jump. jump. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's crazy. Anti air, jump, so on and so forth. It worked out, but I think he's going to be a little bit more passive in the neutral, make some defensive adjustments. And again, there's that puni uh, punish Femi was talking about on the Coral Kick. Stand Light Punch into the Tiger Shot. Yeah, it looks like the Hurt Box is slightly more extended on the upper end, which allows that, that Stand Jab to just be a deadly weapon to punish these minus four buttons. This is it. When you see Yuri at the deficit in the Fireball War and the Life League, you can see how much of a struggle it can be. That's why he has to resort to Chariot Tackles to make the approach. Okay. Oh, confirm again. He stands at a range where it looks Ryan feels safe throwing a fireball. Oh, what a punish. Damn. Oh. Beautiful choice. Behind. It's him out the corner though. Oh, that almost hit, but it didn't. Big punish from Ryan Hot. Saving Grace nice with the jump. EX. So off again. Just needs that space in the neutral. Charges up Indignant Thunder once again. Oh, tries to jump over it. It's the slow one though. And again, great use of the V skill 2 to stay in this set here. There's yeah, Cannon. Basis. There's Cannon's out. Oh, almost caught the jump. Oh, Lovely. don't you dare try the XD me. Right. Brilliant stuff there from Ryan taking that round. That's clutch. That, I think that might be the pivotal moment for Ryan. If he did get that round, I might have had to go. Yeah, Vassal was looking very good. Ryan now feeling himself. Goes for that EX off the string straight away. This is it. When they're, when they're literally in proximity of Urian's coral kick, it's all buttons, baby. That mid-range is nuts. But then outside this range, mid-range to far. It's all about the fireballs. 
This is why Fassin needs that chance to get Indignant Thunder charged up again. Here it is. Oh, I'm not sure he made it in time that yeah, time. Yeah, he didn't get it. because Oh, good jumping up. Who wanted the maximum damage with the crowd's fist? Again, that roundhouse gets punished. But the headbutt anti air does a ton of damage and momentum change here. He'll activate the V trigger too. Ryan backs away. I he's like got to be that. careful where he spaces these fireballs. He's been caught by the roundhouse twice now. And there you go. And then. One cannon out of the way. And another. Oh, beautiful choice from Fasa. Damn, gets what it in a there. choice. Had the V trigger stock moved into set point. Looking strong throughout. You know, he's had some moments where he feels like he's at disadvantage, a huge deficit, and it like comes back. And this is his, this is his trait as a Urine player using V Trigger 2. Just jumping for Ryan. There's a crawl kick again. He needs to be careful about those. Good air to air from Ryan and the break as well. That's a makeshift Tiger Knee there with a jump light kick. Good jump. This time he just gets a sweep. I like it. Take that note down. Do you know that sweep is very obnoxious and annoying to deal with? Super long range, man. Nice conversion nice. of the crouching meeting kick into the light chariot and the V-ship from Ryan. Down the corner. Oh, it's a big back throw there for Ryan. He's got the whole screen to work with. This is all he needs now. It'll just be a fireball wall from here on out until oh, Fasa gets no. hit. Oh, my days, he gets hit. Oh, big damage no. coming. He got, he got caught airborne. He's going to uppercut. No, he doesn't. Ryan's got to be careful there. Fasa just goes out the X. Oh, that's oh, Shibby. The closer for Ryan. And finally, we have a one piece set. In this final winner's bracket match, Jammers, Ryan Hart bringing it back there Don't against care. Fasa. Don't care who you are. Evo champion, first time in the FGC. Anyone in that situation, you're just not sure. And you're like, you know what? Maybe I won't. And then you, you thumb your finger, just you take. And it's like, no, he got you. He got you plain and simple. Brought himself back. One apiece. One of these guys is going to top eight winner's side. The other one, boy, wouldn't want to be down there right now. So let's see how this one goes. Again, Ryan got that clutch round in that game too there before, but I think because that confidence boost he had from that winning that second game, he might be trying to just dominate. Oh, I like that jump knee. Jump like by kick really does take out some of those options. There's a neat target knee. Beautiful spacing. Look at that. I think he tried a headbutt there, fat son. He couldn't even punish oh, that sweep. Sweep spacing as well. He's going to fight from the corner here. Needs some sort of activation. Had to block that. There it is. Nice use of the EX there to catch out that fireball. It's the knockdown. Runs out there though. Oh, what a bet there with the empty jump landing to the V trigger. Yeah, so obnoxious. Good jump back jab. Asset is such a good player using that jump back jab against all of his characters. Well, his opponents, sorry. Slammed again. No meter for Ryan. Oh, wow. That's a mess up his timing and gets back thrown. All right, there you go. Just charging up. Both people trying to get their V skills on deck. No oh, answer from this Ryan. time. Nice choice of the light from, from a faster there, Jammers. Trade to the roundhouse. Nice. Skills up. It lands the V trigger. And in there. No more cannons left for Ryan. Oh, EX anti air. It looked like it was too far, but it wasn't. The range is perfect. And we're going to set point now for Ryan Hart. What a turnaround. He had a fantastic start, went one game down, and he's managed to turn this all around and tell you that round. Game two, that first one was the pivotal moment for me. Yeah, another huge jump in Jamis. A bad timing there for anti air choice there for Fasa. Just Ryan jumped over his head and landed that roundhouse. Bring this round back slowly, though. This is it. Lovely EX Tiger shot. Get that knockdown, build a little bit of space. He's got that angry scar. Tiger uppercut. Ready and waiting for another jump. There it is. Oh, where are you going? Oh, he catches the knee. This could be the end for Fasa. Counter hit. He's Head got, to the loser bracket. He's he got a full activation or something. Good V-shift oh, for Ryan. The V-shift is perfectly timed. He was looking to activate. Ryan knew it. How dare you try to activate on me when I got an option. And he punishes the recovery of the target combo. What a choice. And this is the thing. These sparingly used V-shifts are just so effective. People forget they're there. Yeah, yeah. Not in your memory. I mean, because uh, uh, Europe is the region that probably abuses it the most. So it's great to see it. Look, you're going to see Visha full effect from these guys. We abused it, rinsed it from day you one. You're us an not to block? Come on, man. <laughs> we'll Come take on. it. We're taking that all day, bro. No. All day. The interesting thing about those last couple of seconds, that last situation there, mm. was he V shifted Coral Punch. So you're going to commit, again, cancel the hit. You're going to commit to the target combo. And then even if you activate it anyway, there should be recovery on the V trigger. So I think that hard kick was more than guaranteed. Oh, yeah, more than, yeah. I yeah, think that hard yeah. kick was more than the guaranteed. The hard kick was definitely guaranteed. It's a great choice of button as well because the range is so good. Yeah. Uh, and the hitbox on that hard kick, man, it's so deceptively good. Like, just 
four stands as well. That's a great choice of button there from Ryan to close it out. But great adaptation from Ryan. He was facing match point yeah. against Fasa. Fasa looked good, for, good to take it. Used the V skill too really well, especially considering we don't really see him use that V skill too much. He, he had a good understanding of where to charge it up, how to utilize it in a matchup. But it wasn't enough. Ryan Hart was able to close it out. And he puts himself a match against Mommy, 